What's up, YouTube? Right, um, I have an interesting battle I had today. Uh, this one's up against Napalm. We've had a couple of battles before, and we always seem to have very uh, rather interesting <laughs> battles, to say the least. Uh, anyway, let's before I start on the video, um, let's answer yesterday's uh, question. So, with the ice types, um, a lot popped up. I saw uh, quite a few like Glaceon Warrens, uh, obviously. I'd say probably the most out of all of them, though, probably the most popular was Weevil. That's probably who I saw. Uh, my favorite ice type would be Wolverine. But uh, for today's uh, video, let's try. Hmm, let's try a your favorite rock type. Um, let's try that one. I do like Shuckle as well. He's probably one of my very favorite ones. But um, yeah, leave a comment in the comment the comment section. Who um, is your favorite rock type? And um, if you could leave a like on the video, that'd be uh, awesome too. So let's get to this battle. Um, so I'm using my latest team as per usual. Now let's check this other team out. So we've got Ariados, uh, Duo Blade, Lantern, Go Goat, Mill Tank, and Ember. So some very tanky Pokemon here. The biggest threat that I saw straight away would be uh, Duo Blade. Um, I didn't really uh, like going against that thing at all, um, so I was definitely planning to get rid of that as soon as I could. I wasn't sure if it was going to be like an Everlight variant or not sure. I wasn't 100%, but I was getting prepared for that. So uh, he's going to start with Embor. Now I'm starting with my uh, my Magneton. Now I just thought, well, I know that I'm going to outspeed because this thing has terrible speed, and I'm just going to get a free Volt Switch off, get some nice damage on it. Um, I thought that he'd probably go for like a sort of fighting move um, right there, so I just went into Golurk. Uh, hopefully that he'd be going for that, but he sets up a curse instead, uh, boosting his attack uh, by one stage. Now I just go straight for um, the Earthquake here because that's. Um, some massive damage. Uh, he's going to go for Sucker Punch, which is interesting, and I just live with four health. And um, so that was very, very close. Um, so it's a good thing I ran max health on this. Um, and that takes a, that takes that out, so that's that's good. Um, after a curse, that thing had pretty sizable uh, attack. So out comes Skulltula, and that's just going to go finish me off with Shadow Snake. I didn't really want to swap into anything either because. I had a feeling that this would be a troll set with Sniper, and it freaking was. <laughs> okay, um, I knew that uh, Shadow Sneak wouldn't do much to me at all, so there'd be no real points uh, keeping it in, so I just went here straight for um, Thunderbolt, and he's going to bring in his Lantern to get the uh, Volt Absorb, so um, that's um, fair enough. Um, there wasn't much that else that I could really do to Lantern with Magneton, so I'm just going to swap him out. I was expecting probably like Confuse Ray, Thunder Wave, uh, but he's going to go for Hidden Power. Um, that's not going to do much to me at all because I'm a, a really, really special defensive tank and a health tank as well. So, uh, Lantern really wasn't going to worry me whatsoever. So, I was definitely expecting uh, a swap here for sure. So, uh, brings in the Duo Blade. Now, this thing was a real pain in the ass because it's like Deja Vu the other downstream. Um, oh, I didn't bring Stealth Rock. So I don't, I can't actually do a damn thing to that with throw, and I'm just going to go to Magneton because I've got sturdy at least, and I have the feeling he might go for a sword dance or something along those lines. So it's going to boost his attack. Um, I can go here straight for the Thunderbolt, get some nice damage off as best as I can, and that does fairly good damage. I was happy with that. Um, he's going to go for Sacred Sword and take me to my sturdy. Now I knew that he'd have Shadow Sneak here. But I didn't really want to swap anything into it, so I sort of just sacrificed Magneton um, and was sort of done with it. I wanted to get a, a clean swap, swap in with, um, sorry, with my Golduck. Um, I was confident that I would not go down to one um, Shadow Sneak. Um, so I'm just going to go for Scold straight away because, as I said, I really want to get rid of this thing. It's a threat to this team. Uh, it does around half da damage with Shadow Sneak, and I'm just going to hit it uh, really hard with uh, Scold there. Um, if it didn't kill, I would have got a burn or something like that. But I was pretty confident that I would get the kill um, after that um, Magneton. So, in comes Miltank. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect for this set. Most of them are bulky, but it outsped me. I'm like, what the fuck? It must be running uh, It must be running a lot of speed. And then again, it does have a decent 100 base speed, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, very, like a nice base speed for a tank. Uh, that does loads of damage, so I think it's more offensive than uh, tanky at this point. Um, I know 
I know Power Up Punch is coming here, so this is, would be a good opportunity to swap into my Swallow here. I know I can take it even after like a plus one. Um, and that's uh, does only a little bit of damage to me, and I can get a free swap in to activate my Guts as well. And I know that I'm going to outspeed, and nothing's really going to like swapping into Facade or Brave Bird. Now, once the Duo Blade is off the field, um, I sort of kept my Swallow back until I got rid of that. Uh, that's going to take uh, Mill Tank out, which is good, because that thing is a real pain in the ass. Um, very bulky as well. Um, obviously, got like milk drink, and they probably have milk drink as well. So, uh, out comes Lantern. Now, I thought, well, I could stay in, but I know that I'm probably not going to take it out with Facade because it's so bulky. Now, Mashana was probably my best swap in here because um, I'm um, I'm carrying Toxic on this thing, and Lantern really, really, really hates Toxic, and it gets worn down by it very, very. Uh, quickly. Ah, so he's going to go for Signal Band, which is interesting. Uh, cool move on Lantern there. Um, hits me some, for some super effective. Uh, so anyway, I get the Toxic on Lantern, which is really what I wanted to do. Um, I, I'm carrying Moonlight on this thing as well, so I can get some nice recovery, and I can easily quite I can easily stall this Lantern out now. Uh, it's just not quite doing enough with uh, Signal Beam, of course. Um, sorry, I just need a drink of water here. Okay, so I take that um, reasonably, and I'm just going to get my Moonlight off here, here now. Uh, after seeing that Moonlight, he's probably going to swap out into something different now, knowing that it's, uh, it's definitely not going to take me out. Uh, even with a crit, I could get my Moonlight up, which is which is good. Because <laughs> there was, um, I, I won't spoil it, but there was, there was some interesting things that happened in this battle. Um, so uh, things are going fairly good at the moment. I was in a pretty comfortable position. Now, um, in comes this thing. I just go straight here for Psyshock. I'm really glad that I did too, because I got some good damage off, and I nearly take it out, which is good. Um, like, I was very thankful getting that damage on it. So, I go here just for a Protect, see what it's going to do. I was thinking Shadow Sneak or Mega Horn. Uh, one of those two moves. Uh, it's just going to go straight for Mega Horn. Now, I was thinking, well, I can easily swap into my Swallow for that, because I can, I can resist it. And I can finish it just off with quick attack or something like that. And I can I I, I resist shadow sneak anyway, so it's um, going to get outsped in that uh, aspect anyway. So uh, it's going to fire off that mega horn there, and it crits me, which really sucks. And with sniper, uh, that is not going to leave. <laughs> so um, that was my swell out of the way, which sucked. Now um, I know I didn't have much to take this thing out, but I was thinking, well, I might be able to just get a use circle throw now a little bit better because that. Um, Geo blades out of the way. Uh, in comes the lantern again. So this is good. I can break its uh, this, its balloon at least get a little bit of damage on it. Um, I was fine with that. Now uh, in comes this thing again. So I knew I knew circle throw probably won't even kill this thing because uh, it's a resistor. It crits me there with uh, cross poison as well, which sucks. Um, and it doesn't even take it out. <laughs> circle throw. I'm like, Fuck. So I <laughs> get rid of that one. Um, so in comes Land again. I know that I can get a rest off here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so I'll be able to take that Surf easy, being his most strongest move. And why he'll be whittling down uh, health to poison. Um, so here we go with uh, Surf here. Uh, as I said, it didn't really do a uh, hell of a lot to me. And I can get the free rest off. Now, this was good. I was happy with this because I got all my health back. And I could uh, definitely, I could profusely spam... Uh, Sleep talk until I obviously until I woke up. Now uh, that toxic damage is doing fine. There, there's really nothing this lantern can do to me. Um, like it's probably just going to turn into a fodder now. Anyway, so I'm sleeping. I'm just hoping I can get a circle throw off. Maybe a bulk up would that be handy? So I get a rest the first turn, which sucks. Um, that does happen with sleep talk. Um, it's very very common, especially for this battle. Okay, so about one more turn of Toxic and then Landon's gone. Uh, I think Landon's just trying to get as much health uh, taken away from me as possible, which is fair enough. Um, so once again, I'm going to go for the uh, Sleep Talk, and I'm hoping to get the Circle Throw, and I get rest twice in a row, which is, um, which is really, really fun. Getting rest twice in a row is awesome. So that Landon's going to go out for Toxic Damage anyway. Even if I got... Hell, even if I got Bulk Up, that would have been good. I could have... Because really toxic was doing most of the work uh, there anyway. So out comes uh, Go to Cycle. Um, it's going to go straight there for the Aerial Ace. Um, doesn't do a hell of a lot to me. Um, 
I I actually just went straight for the bulk up here because I thought it'd have, be one of those uh, leech, horn leech greedy ones with uh, Big Groot getting uh, all the health. Or it, it, it was a bulk up milk drink set um, at the same time, but most of them are. Um, so as I thought, it's got uh, horn leech and that's going to leech a lot of my health back. I get the rest off, which was good. I was happy with that. So, um, okay. Um, I get <laughs> I get that off. So I've already missed two rest sleep talks in a row. I've got rest both times. Yeah, I got rest both times. So um, he's going to hit me with super effective arrow eyes. I wasn't too worried about that actually, because uh, I had that bulk up off. Unless it was a crit, that really, really, really suck. Uh, I get rest again. So that was three times in a row. Uh, so that sucked. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's probably one of the worst times I've. I think that I've uh, that I've got rest. Uh, three times in a row. I think I've only done it once other than that. I think it's about a 3% chance around there too. Anyways, um, I'm going to go for Sleep Talk again, praying that I'll get attack, and finally I get Circle Throw, mate. Yes! Good. Uh, so I do some nice damage there. Obviously, Guts uh, was kicking in there, uh, plus that bulk up. So into this last uh, Skull Throw thing, I was praying to God that I don't get critted by this thing again, because it already critted me twice um, already. I'm just going to wake up straight away and use a uh, circle throw in a while. So, of course, once again, it <laughs> crits me. And um, I'm going to finish it off with circle throw. So, I just got the freaking bug spray on that thing. Jesus! That was like a major, major troll. Uh, so, I was happy that's out of the way. I've got a bo one bulk up up and I've got some um, lefties recovery. Now, uh, he had go to cycle left. And I was pretty confident that I could, um, that I could do some decent damage to this thing. And unfortunately, that horn leech just has enough to uh, take my throw out. Um, so that's right out the way. Now, I, I had two pokes. Uh, sorry, I had, I had my, I had my two pokes here left. So this is my attempt to try and take this thing out. I just went straight for the ice beam, and it lives with like I don't know, like four, four to ten health or something around there. Um, even though it's gonna, it's gonna haul leech me and finish me off, but it's not gonna probably get a lot of health back from there, um, from that one. So I was very, very close to taking that one out. Now uh, my last poke was my Mashana, and um, I had Toxic on this thing, so I had a feeling that he'd probably have Milk Drink, and of course it's got Milk Drink. Um, what Go Go sort of doesn't have Milk Drink. Uh, that's gonna get most of the health back. Now I wasn't too worried about this. Um, except Toxic misses there, which sucks, because I really wanted that first turn in case I got critted at all. Um, I was hoping it didn't, he wasn't running too many like attack EVs on this thing, because I'm more... Um, um, I, I, I do, I'm running a couple of defense EVs on this thing, but I just did want to get critted again. Uh, so I finally get my Toxic up there. Now, really all I had to do here was uh, just keep using Moonlight and Protect and hitting with Psyshock, and I pretty much had this match here. Um, just, just, just because of the toxic damage. Um, so I just continue to protect here, and that was sort of my strategy to take this uh, thing out. But it was a rather interesting battle and some really interesting moments there with using rest three times on sleep talk. Man, that really sucks. Um, it really, really sucks. Um, and then again, that's a risk you do take with using sleep talk. But most of the time, if not all the time, you will never get that lucky. Uh, sorry, unlucky. Um, so, I have Moonlight on this thing, as I mentioned before, that's just going to take all my health back to, this, um, to the beginning, and we're going to start this uh, all over again, so Go Go is pretty much screwed here. Um, I was quite happy that it didn't have bulk up as well, because that could have may have been a problem, may have been a problem. Um, I, I am running some defense in this as well, which is good, and max health. Okay, so I thought, well, I might as well just go for a Psy Shot, get some damage off on this thing, um, get a little bit more damage uh, here and my lefties. Now I'm thinking he may go for just milk drink again to try and delay it, but I wasn't too worried because that's really only making uh, milk drink just stack up and damage. Uh, not milk drink, milk drink doesn't do damage. Milk drink heals you. Uh, toxic do um, more stacking damage than what it already does. Okay, uh, so he's going to get half his health back again. Um, I'm just really all I here need to do is just go for Psy Shock or Protect. It doesn't really matter because. Uh, in two turns that, um, sorry, after this turn, uh, he'll go down to the Toxic. And um, obviously if I milk drink it again, that'd be probably pointless to just get down to the same point. So um, my last attempt there at a critical hit uh, to get some health back. 
And I'm just going to go for the Psyshock here and finish the Go-Go off with the Toxic Damage. And, uh, oh, I didn't even need the Toxic Damage for that one. And uh, that's Go-Go down. But uh, thanks for the battle, Napalm. It's always um, an interesting battle, <laughs> for sure. Um, that Eridosis made me rage so much. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, make sure you answer that question of the day. And uh, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed this. It's highly appreciated. Peace out, everyone.